Hi, my name is Niels Carlson. This video is about how to use the Visionary Digital System to take pictures of cleared and stained fish specimens. The study that I took pictures for was examining the draw morphology and mechanics of beta splendens. Um, just a quick disclaimer, this video only explains the process for using the Soulmate and fiber optics to take images of cleared and stained fish specimens. If you'd like to know more on how to set up and use the Visionary Digital System itself, please refer to the great how-to videos by Bree and Caitlin. The first thing I did to prepare each specimen was to remove all scales and loose tissue. The next step was to place the specimen in the petri dish, which I then subsequently filled with water such that the specimen was completely covered. I found water was the best medium to take pictures of the cleared and stained fish specimens in because it uh, allowed for the least amount of distortion with the best picture quality. I found it was very important to make sure that the specimen was completely covered with water as can be seen here because if any part of the specimen either touched the water surface or protruded from it, it would create a distortion in the image that would ruin it. The next step is to set up the soulmate which provides backlighting for the specimen. First set up the camera which as I mentioned before um, is explained in the how-to videos by Bree and Kaylin. So then once you have the camera set up, the first step is to center the soulmate. So first bring down the camera until the uh, crosshairs on the targeting sheet are in view. Then you are going to want to physically move the soulmate so that the crosshairs on the targeting screen are centered in your field of view. Now, this will make sure that the uh, soulmate is centered and that your specimen is right over the lighting where it needs to be. Then you're going to want to move the camera back up again so you do not harm it in any way while setting it up. Um, then remove the targeting screen so you can get ready to uh, take pictures of your specimen. Um, so the next step is to attach the fiber optics and uh, tighten the knob so that the fiber optics are set in place. Then I'm going to turn on the fiber optics so that we have backlighting and then place the specimen onto the soulmate. And focus on the specimen. Now before I move on, here are some of the features of the soulmate. This is the light intensity lever which adjusts the amount of backlighting and the intensity of the light. This next part is the light diffuser which softens the light and I found that the best picture quality is attained by leaving the light diffuser in the whole time. Now this next lever is the aperture lever which adjusts the size of the aperture and the area being backlit. So you can see here reducing the size of the aperture and then enlarging it again. Now, turning this knob adjusts the position of the backlight behind the specimen. This can be used to create interesting effects depending on the type of picture that you're looking for. Now I am going to go into how to use and set up the fiber optic arms. This first knob is the knob that turns the magnetic base of the fiber optic arm on and off and allows it to be attached to the visionary digital platform. This next lever sets the rigidity and position of the arm. So turning it towards the base loosens the arm and then turning it to a vertical position solidifies the arm. So Then this knob uh, is the fine adjust for the rigidity of the arm. So tightening it makes the arm more rigid and then loosening it makes the arm less rigid. So depending on your preference and what you need you can adjust the rigidity of the arm. So now I'm going to attach the fiber optics to the fiber optic arm and this screw down here just make sure that the fiber optics are locked in place and won't come out of the fiber optic arm. 
So next, this screw up here allows you to make several fine adjustments to where the fiber optics are pointing in relation to your specimen. So you can move it up and down and point it in any given direction by loosening and tightening this nut. So next I'm going to show you the effects of the light, inten light intensity lever on the fiber optic arm, which is very similar to what you have on the Soulmate. So basically it just opens and closes an aperture as you can see here. And now I'm going to show you the effect that adjusting the light intensity lever has on the light that comes out of the fiber optic arm. So by putting, pushing the lever down you get less light and up you get more light. And finally here are some of the final images that I took using the visionary digital imaging system. And as you can see they are very detailed and high quality images that allow you to see every detail of the clear and stained specimens. And that's it. Thank you for watching.